Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. It is just one thing after another. When times were normal in this country, there would be a major disaster every once in a while, but now, we have reached a stage where there is literally no pause between them. Authorities are still trying to assess the damage from the historic wildfires that we just witnessed in Hawaii. We are being told that they were the deadliest wildfires in the entire history of our country, and now suddenly more wildfires are burning tens of thousands of acres in western portions of the state of Washington. At the same time, the state of California is bracing for an extremely rare disaster. According to Aku Weather, the impact that Hillary is going to have on the state has the potential to be an extraordinary event. Aku weather meteorologists say that a life-threatening flooding disaster is unfolding in some of the desert areas and mountains in Southern California to Southern Nevada, where more than a year's worth of rain could fall. The impact from Hillary has the potential to be an extraordinary event, one that is rare and unprecedented, Akam Weather Director of Forecasting Operations Dan Depodwin said. This is not something that happens every day. In fact, if Hillary is still considered to be a tropical storm when it hits California, it will be the first time this century that something like this has happened. If Hillary is still categorized as a tropical storm over California, that would be the first time that happened in almost 26 years, since the former Hurricane Nora tracked near the Colorado River in California as a tropical storm in September 1997. Norman and Kathleen, in 1978 and 1976, respectively, brought impacts to Southern California, but neither officially made landfall as a tropical storm. There were only two times landfalls happened prior to 1950, including a September 1939 tropical storm in the LA Basin, and an October 2, 1858 hurricane, which tracked from San Diego to Long Beach. But no matter how it is categorized, everyone agrees that, that there is going to be an extremely unusual amount of rain. In fact, meteorologists are warning that we are likely to see dangerous to catastrophic flooding. Historic Hillary, downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm, but still carrying the potential for dangerous to catastrophic flooding, made landfall in the Mexican peninsula of Baja California on Sunday, while churning north toward the U.S. Hillary was 115 miles south-southeast of San Diego when the National Hurricane Center released its latest update at 2 p.m. Pacific time, warning of catastrophic and life-threatening flooding, likely over Baja California and portions of the southwestern U.S. through Monday. The flooding has already begun in some areas of California as I make this video. Authorities are warning that extremely heavy rainfall will trigger landslides and mudslides, and this is especially true in areas that have recently experienced wildfires. High winds will be an issue as well. San Diego County has already seen gusts of up to 84 miles per hour, and Yuma, Arizona has already seen gusts of up to 62 miles per hour. California Governor Gavin Newsom has officially declared a state of emergency, and Nevada Governor Joe Lombardo has done the same. This crisis is going to play out over several days, and it is going to hit a population that is largely unprepared for such a storm. Once residents of Southern California began to realize what was about to hit them, thousands upon thousands of people descended upon local grocery stores to stock up on needed supplies. But panic buying has set in, and some supermarket shelves in San Diego and Los Angeles were stripped bare of essentials such as water and tinned food. Videos of people panic buying at grocery stores started emerge from California, with one tweet making jest of the essentials being bought by people in Los Angeles. A sign you're in LA and not the Southeast US during hurricane or tropical storm preparation. White bread is left at Trader Joe's. Fakasha, all gone. 
but even during storm prep, Angelenos ain't bringing home the white bread. The post read with a picture of empty shelves and around seven loaves of white bread. Of course, those that had prepared ahead of time didn't need to battle the crowds. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Something else just happened that is very important for me to mention. On Sunday afternoon, a magnitude 5.1 earthquake struck near Ajai, California. As Southern California braced for a highly unusual summer storm Sunday afternoon, residents were struck by a much more familiar phenomenon. A magnitude 5.1 earthquake, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The epicenter of the quake was in Ajai, between Santa Barbara and Ventura, and it occurred along the Sicer Fault, USGS data showed. Studies have shown that large amounts of water can stir up fault lines. Personally, I believe that we have now reached a point where the people of California should be extremely concerned about the possibility of the arrival of the big one, and this is something that I discussed a few days ago. Speaking of major disasters, authorities are still recovering dead bodies that were killed during the recent wildfires in Hawaii. The official death toll currently stands at 111, but local residents are saying that the real death toll is at least four times higher. Maui authorities are dramatically underplaying the number of people known to have died in the inferno that ripped through Lahaina last week, with locals telling DailyMail.com that the actual death toll is at least 480 and that morgues had run out of body bags. The figure is quadruple that of the official number of 111, and some of the relatives of the victims have been left to uncover the remains of their loved ones themselves due to the glacial progress of the search and recovery operation. I don't think that any of us will soon forget the images of the destruction in Hawaii. But now brand new headlines about devastating wildfires are crying for our attention. In Washington, raging wildfires are ripping across the western portion of the state at a pace that is absolutely breathtaking. Terrifying wildfires which have so far killed one person are continuing to tear across Washington state, with more than 20,000 acres burned this weekend. The entire northwestern state remains under an alert, while the largest parkland area, Mount Spokane State Park, has been closed off to the public as firefighters battle to contain the inferno. In Spokane County, East Washington, the largest wildfire has raised 10,892 acres of land, destroying nearly 200 buildings and killing at least one person in its wake as thousands evacuated the danger zone. Sadly, this is how it is going to be now. There is just going to be one thing after another, and most people will have absolutely no idea why any of this is happening. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.